Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's session, we are going to see how to configure Ambari file views. So we know that in Hadoop environment, we store the data in the format in the in the file format. So if you want to see those files, or if you want to load or upload those files in the Ambari environment, then how can we do that? So we are going to set we are going to see that demo. So first log in to the Ambari console, go to the services, select Hadoop, uh, sorry, uh, select HDFS. Once you select that, you will see the config tag. Select go on the config tag. Make sure we should see the HDFS default one because if you use any other default or if you use any other custom created group then our tutorial will fail or our tutorial will not work as expected so select the hdfs default we have to also may uh, then we have to also check the what are the custom core site properties so where we can find those in order to see those so there are two tabs settings and advanced we have to go to the advanced tab and inside that various properties available so let's see one of the property that is custom core site so that we can add the property to that so these are the advanced I will close this advanced HDFS site and custom HDFS site so this, this is the location where we can add the custom uh, files uh, we can add this or we can add what well, there is one more location custom core site so there are already some properties available okay so what we'll do we will add some extra properties so in order to add extra properties we have to click on the add properties it will pop up one window so what this window contains window contains what type of file it is going to update and it will have the two more components key and values so here we are to provide key and it's a corresponding value one at a time so how can we provide like this let me add Hadoop proxy group Hadoop dot proxy user dot root dot group and its value is anyone like everyone is part of this group If you want to add multiple, okay, so I can see the value here. Here, if you want to add multiple, then you can see, click on this bulk property add value. So what this is, we can add the multiple properties at a time. If you want to add single, you can add here. Click this single button, and let me add one more property. Hado dot proxy user dot root dot host here again the proxy user means anyone can access I will use aesthetics and save so by this way I added two properties Hadoop proxy user root group and Hadoop proxy user root host once we add that the next thing is we have to make sure save these changes so click on the save button and of course it will ask the reason to save proxy user add and save click on the ok button and it may require the server restart so if you remember we have to uh, you will see this restart button if you make any configuration changes in order to make all the changes affect, uh, affected in this environment we have to restart all affected nodes and just click confirm restart all this will take some time to restart the required nodes meanwhile uh, we can go and see what is the HDFS file so HDFS files it is the file system in the Hadoop means everything 
it is stored in the block in the form of block in the Hadoop and those blocks are nothing but the HDFS file in the format of the HDFS files this file can be of any type it can be txt file it can be csv file it can be image file so but a single file is not stored at the single node what they do they uh, what are the uh, minimum block size we are defined for example 128 mb and your file is suppose 3 mb then it will create a block of 120 uh, sorry if you have the 300 mb file and minimum block size is 120 MB at Hadoop level in that case that 300 file is divided into three blocks first two blocks will be having 128 MB and the remaining third block will have the remainder of that file one block will be placed on the node one uh, on the stack one the other two blocks will be stored on the stack two so on the storing the block one on the uh, block one on the stack one and the storing the block two on the stack two it will allow us the availab availability of the sources the next thing is why the block three on the same stack I mean stack same uh, that is two so by that by doing that we actually minimizing the write cost so these are the things related to HDFC, HDFS files as we go forward, we'll see all conceptual details about the HDFS files and the Hadoop environment. So let's uh, wait for the couple of seconds to restart uh, this servers because of the property change. As we know, currently we have changed two properties, user host and user. Um, the second one is user group and this is successfully started click on the ok now the next thing we have to go to we have to go to the manage ambari section what is manage ambari is so manage ambari uh, will have the all the necessary settings one which we want to do first thing is we are going to see in the view section what are the things we have available so click on the view you can see there are capacity scheduler files high pig slider and test along with its instances click on the files click on create instance now we have to provide the instance so by that creating instance for the file that means we are going to create a file that is hdfs file so we have to provide this value we can provide any value for this so but for the instance i will denote like this so that later on there if there are multiple instances available i will come to know which instance it is display name as hdfs files and you can give the description browse hdfs files and directory or folders next thing we have some more property that is setting which has the hdfs username web hdfs authentication uh, sorry authorization so the, we do not have to bother about that we let's check if you have any other permission section or not so cluster configuration is there that we can ignore and we will make save so it is saving ok now we will go to the permission section to grant the permissions now this is what we already configured in our earlier sessions what we will do in the permission what are the users we are able to see here we can we cannot add this why we cannot add this because we are logged in with the ad user which is operator user so we have to go to the permission section and uh, beneath this if you see we can see the grant permission 
to this user so we can click on the new uh, let's see yeah I can see okay why can't we see permission use okay let's try out let me log out from this and let's try to log in with admin go to the same way HDFS definitely we are going to go back to the view section to check everything is fine We have just selected HDFS and this is left side then go to the manage Ambari inside hub go to the permissions and we can just uh, grant permission we will add the admin user in this terminal uh, let's see permissions use we cannot see the updated permission oh that's fine we can ignore this in terminal window we can go to the terminal window here let's use the clear command to clear all this next thing is we have to switch user to hdfs because hdfs is a super user in the hdfs once we do that we can make a directory hdfs hyphen mkdir user admin so this will make the directory could not create your okay so actually we do not uh, we need the hdfs privileges fatal exception okay the reason why we are getting this error is this command is not proper the command is hdfs dfs hyphen mkdir user admin and now it will create this directory no such file or directory okay it's not able to create okay uh, there is slightly different instead of user yeah the user complete name now it got created now we have to give the permission to the root so that root level we can have the access to this folder so we have to use count command hdfs dfs count admin admin space user then forward slash admin so by that way we are providing access to the root user also then we can use exit command to exit from that we can go back to the uh, our ambari view and there is a section now you can see my hdfs files what are the files we created we should able to see here user root is not allowed personate admin okay i think that permission we need to give let's see if you have any other need to fix this issue what i'll do i'll go back manage and bury permission okay let me go to the views let's see the files available file is there go instance the file is correct or oh, permissions is here if you see permission and here i will add the add user you can use admin so that admin only can see the files once you do that just click on the click and go back and see those my hdfs files 
at this time we should able to see the files expand why not authorizer root is not okay it's showing the root is not allowed okay let me do one thing let's go back and check one more time let's go to the file we added the app permission to group okay that's perfectly fine there is no group or setting okay that's fine I think uh, I will fix this issue and we will come back so meanwhile uh, I will stop this session here we will continue the next session with this from this onward uh, I hope you will keep watching this video so I will make the part 1 and part 2 of this file so that you can go forward and watch the next part also so thank you for watching the video and have a nice time